Hello guys, my name is Rahul and watching movie Dot. So guys, today I'll explain the difference between air-cooled and liquid-cooled technology found in motor bike's engine. In general, we know that motor bike's engine burn a fuel to produce a power. This process of burning a fuel is known as combustion process. During combustion process, two types of energy produce. That is mechanical energy and that is the heat energy. As you'll know that mechanical energy benefited for the engine to move, whereas excessive heat energy is harmful to the engine. To keep it balanced, the cooling system helps in reducing the heat generated from the engine. So today Today we will discuss the difference between both air cold and liquid cooled technologies. So friend, if you are new to my channel then please subscribe to my channel and stay tuned and press the bell icon to get a notification of the new videos. Let's talk about air cooled technology. Air cooled technology are traditional and natural way to cool down the engine. Air flow around the engine help in reducing the engine temperature. Air cool engine are very simple in construction and also the cost effective too. Air cool engine are very special design within thin metal fins. These metal fins carry out excess heat from the engine blocks and make the engine temperature to cool down. In such way the air flow around the engine make the engine temperature balance. Now let's talk about liquid cool technology. Liquid cool technology is modern and efficient way to cool down the engine. Liquid cool engines are complex in construction and had an attach with the various types of components such as radiator, ECU and thermostat. Liquid cool engines are specially designed and attach with the loops of the liquid coolant around the engine. There is a coolant pump which circulate the liquid coolant within the loops. There is a radiator that pump the liquid coolant to absorb the excess heat generated from the engine. So now the question is how the liquid cool technology works. First of all the thermostat sends the temperature of an engine and then they send the signal to the ECU then again ECU send the signal to the radiator to pump the required amount of the liquid coolant around the engine loop and then the radiator fan blows out the water of the liquid coolant to cool down advantage of an air cool engine air cool engine are budget friendly and simple in design air cool engine are easy in maintenance and also the servicing cost of the maintenance is less air cool engine does not require extra power because it does not have a component like radiator and ECU Disadvantage of an air cool engine Air cool engine are less efficient in heat removal. Sometimes air flow around the engine is not sufficient. Air cool engine create a noise if the sufficient air flow could not cool down the engine. Air cool engine are not suitable for the powerful engine or the engine higher than 200 cc. Air cool engine has an improper fuel consumption due to the inefficient way of heat removal. Advantage of a liquid cool engine Liquid cool engine could remove the heat in efficient way. Liquid cool engine create a less noisy sound because the liquid flow could remove the heat faster. Liquid cool engine are suitable for powerful engine or the engine higher than 200 cc. Liquid cool engine has a proper fuel consumption due to the efficient way of heat removal. Now disadvantage of a liquid cool engine. Liquid cool engine are expensive and complex in construction because there are components like radiator and ECU attached to it. Liquid cool engine required a frequently maintenance and servicing cost is high. Liquid cool engine required extra power to run the component like radiator and ECU. So the conclusion is simple. Air cool engine are specially designed for a low ended motor bikes with a less powerful engine whereas liquid cool engine are designed for a high ended motor bikes with a powerful engine. We usually see air cool technology below 200cc engine and liquid cool technology above 200cc engine. So the choice is on us. If you buy a budget friendly bikes below 200 cc, we'll get an air cool engine like Bajaj Pulsar 150, TVS Apache 180, Bajaj Platina has an air cool engine. Whereas if you buy a little more expensive bikes above 200 cc, we'll get a liquid cool engine like KTM Duke 250, KTM RC 390, Bajaj Dominar has a liquid cool engine. And except some of the specialty bikes such as Royal Enfield series has an air cool engine and Yamaha R15 150 cc has a liquid cool engine. And also it depends upon the manufacturer brand. So that's all guys, hope you understand the differences. If you had any question then please write in the comments. Hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching. If the video is helpful to you, like, share and subscribe. Until the next time, goodbye.